I'm here at the dump right now. Y'all seen this place a million times. I'm looking for some nice boulders, something that will kind of just kind of look decent inside my landscape and kind of offset some. So I found a bigger sandstone. Uh, uh, found this guy. And there's a creek that runs through, and I'm gonna drive down and look to the creek as well. So hang with us, and we'll talk to y'all in a little bit. temperature so we're gonna fix this landscape up I got some more mulch we're gonna fix some of the edging up and kind of want to do is kind of figure out something a way where the grade of this property runs downhill it coming it's coming this way it's coming down this way and it kind of pulls up right here and here is a natural trench it's a natural trench running through the yard so we got our work cut out for us Gonna find the best way to keep this landscape intact. Now this torrential downfall was probably a blessing, one of the best blessings, but it happened on the customers worst times. But this is almost, this is honestly a really good thing as well. This is another good thing as well because when you're putting these landscapes in, now i now i've gained the knowledge to where i can inform my client before anything happens so this is not only a learning process for me it's actually a learning process for all you guys as well so before you go put your put your first uh landscape in you'll know the soil conditions you'll know what to expect and you'll know what to tell your client so when it happens she doesn't have to call you at 7 30 8 o'clock in the morning and tell you that the whole landscape washed away but we're gonna get started All right, got the area kind of fixed up for right now, but I don't think it's a permanent fix. Like I told you before, this area right here is like a bowl. So if this area is like a bowl. Good morning, everybody. Jesse James with Black Fork on the Snow. Hey, uh, it's about 5.30 in the morning. Uh, Got up about four something almost around there. See how dark it is out here. It's beautiful. You say, why are you getting up that early on a Saturday? I always get up this early on Saturday. Saturdays are usually the days I mow all my schools. And in order to get them all done, I have to be on the first one right at the break of daylight. But I'm moving my schools till Sundays just because I know we got weather coming in Monday, Tuesday. So I'm just kind of cramming everything in and, and making some moves. Uh, but what I want to talk about is discipline. For you guys breaking into the business and for you guys established in business, discipline is the most important important thing and it's what a lot of us lack. I speak on, um, I, I can only speak what I know of. I know I lack discipline. So I'm assuming that maybe some of you guys do too. And in that lack of discipline, something you can do every day, make your bed, like Dr. Jordan Peterson said, make your bed, uh, pet a stray cat, be kind, uh, be good to a friend. Be nice to a friend. If something good happens to him, don't be jealous. Don't be envious. So I'm starting to wake up a lot earlier every day. And I, I want to build that discipline and I want to and put that time into my business. So if I can get started two or three hours earlier every day, that's two or three hours I can cut back and spend more time with my family. And in the end goal, we start these businesses so we can be so we can bless our family. Now the good Lord has blessed me to, from the past that I come from, and maybe this will help some of you guys, from the past I come from, I come from a drug addiction, poverty, single parenthood, trailer parks. That doesn't dictate anything. That doesn't say that I can't uh, have a business and a successful business. That doesn't say that I'll never be able to have a million dollars in the bank and have big crews and, 
and be a big fancy businessman. Quite the contrary. People like us come from a resilience. Uh, we have a different kind of strength that other people don't have. And so we are blessed with it. And the good Lord has given me this knowledge because I'm not smart enough to run a business. I'm just listening to what God's telling me to do. And I just try my best every single day. So if, with the discipline that I'm trying to instill with just getting up early, this is going to create dividend. So, and it's going to ripple effect all throughout, all throughout my business. I'm looking forward to it. So Today's video is just going to be, we got about six or seven yards to do, uh, bigger commercial yards all day today, and my cousin's coming up from Toledo, so I'm going to talk to him, and we're going to talk about a drainage solution. Um, we're going to talk about a little drainage issues I'm having at one of my landscapes, so I'm going to get the blades changed on the X mark, and I'm going to drink my coffee. Later, guys. <laughs> I was excited as hell, I was going to see An uprising star, Jamie Johnson sang at the House of Blues Not far from my hometown Three hours straight he sang song after song Good old country music like I grew up on It may be the best show think I'd ever seen Don't know how I did it couldn't believe that I lost an old pocket knife that daddy gave me Back in 88, just before it passed away it Was a tempered piece of steel with a single blade Worn down a little red American made It don't mean a thing to you But to me it meant everything In the jungles of a foreign land Grandpa, when he falls World War II and On the old handle he was engraved Fight like hell and come home safe Little piece of heaven where all is gone to hell No, it don't mean a thing to you but to me it meant everything So I sat down and I wrote this old song About an old pocket knife and what went wrong And I sent it off to Nashville Some record man Don't know how I did it couldn't believe when I picked up the phone Heard Jamie Johnson say It's good old country music and the words of your song Said I found your knife laying on the floor I picked it up and I knew it was more Than a tempered piece of steel with a single blade Worn down a little red American made My daddy carried a knife and beat down Deep in the jungles of a foreign land Grandpa, when he fought in World War II and On the old handle it was engraved Fight like hell and come home safe Little piece of heaven, we're all just gone to hell Thing to you, but to me it meant everything. No, it don't mean a thing to you, but to me it meant everything.